Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, one of important feature of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint which is live response. So what is this live response and how it is uh, going to help the uh, SecOps team? Uh, let's say example, uh, the SecOps team is working on some active uh, incident that's happening on their environment and they they have some challenges to uh, reach out to uh, to the target endpoint or or getting the uh, remote sharing session of that particular endpoint or even if the the system was uh, busy in, in other uh, important tasks and it's not available uh, for uh, remote access uh, or it can be multiple scenario that the secops team uh, face some challenges to reach out to the system during the investigation process so with the help of uh, live response, now uh, the, the team can directly connect the, the remote connection of the target endpoint to the command line interface. Meaning you can open the, your uh, Defender portal and uh, locate the uh, your target endpoint where you want to perform the troubleshooting or investigation and you can directly initiate the live response uh, command and you will be directly connected to the uh, the command line interface of your uh, target endpoint. So using this uh, live response, you can uh, not only do the investigation, but also you can perform some remediation action on the target endpoint. So this is, uh, as I mentioned, it's in a cloud-based remote shell connection, or uh, it's not a graphical user interface. It's, you will be uh, experience how your command line interface will Work the similar way you will be accessing the uh, the remote connection of this uh, target endpoint, and and it also performs both investigation and response uh, through the uh, CLI commands, and 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 also it help it removes the uh, dependency of your uh, IT admins, your app owner or end user uh, requirement in order to pro do some investigation on the target endpoint. Also, this supports on uh, Windows. Linux and Mac OS environment and this is part of your Microsoft Defender for Endpoint plan to future. Uh, so if you are uh, if your tenant is having the uh, MDE plan to uh, capability already enabled then uh, your live response is uh, part of this feature I mean part of this plan and this live response uh, uh, capability it have a library uh, it means it you can say it's a storage location where you can uh, upload your uh, scripts uh, such as your uh, PowerShell or your bash file. So some scripts you can upload to the target library and you can connect to your target endpoint and execute that same uh, scripts in the target endpoint. The scripts might be contained to collect the investigation package or it have uh, it includes uh, some tasks to perform some remediation access on, I mean action on the a target endpoint uh, and also it come up with the some kind of uh, limitation uh, I would say uh, for example uh, you can initiate only uh, 25 live response session in a tenant at a time uh, and this live response session will inactive uh, timeout value is set to 30 minutes and user can initiate up to 10 concurrent sessions I mean one user if they are logged on to the portal they can initiate up to 10 concurrent sessions and the, the target device can only be in one session at a time so and also it have some uh, file size limits like uh, you, know, you will be getting a get file limit is 3 gb and file info limit is 30 gb and your library where you are uploading with scripts and uh, uh, or executing the scripts so this library uh, repository have limit of uh, 250 mp so let's jump into the demo uh, let me switch over to my screen so how to uh, enable the live response in the microsoft uh, defender portal so i'm in defender portal uh, if you go to settings and endpoint and under advanced features uh, you will have list of options available so in that we have a, a option uh, live response this can be toggled on to get enable the live response uh, in the target endpoint. In case 
you want to enable the live response for the server environment in that case you have to turn on uh, this one and for example you are going to create a script which is an unsigned one and you want to execute that script inside the uh, environment so in that case uh, uh, you, you can enable this uh, live response unsigned un unsigned script execution this will uh, allow you to execute any unsigned script in the environment but keep in mind uh, running any unsigned script in the environment will uh, leave the device vulnerable for any cyber attacks so now uh, i am in my uh, target endpoint uh, or i mean i mean my defender portal i'm going to locate my target endpoint where i want to perform this uh, uh, live response action so for that uh, i'm going to select the target endpoint and here it will load all the details about the target endpoint uh, and you will be having option here uh, under the more action and if you click initiate uh, live response action then uh, the your live response uh, session will be initiated uh, it will be look like this so once you click on initiate live response it will say connect and session is established so now uh, you are in uh, the live response of the target endpoint so here you can perform multiple uh, uh, simple and advanced commands uh, to do your investigation and remediation action uh, like uh, for example if you want to see what are the uh, all uh, active connections that is running on the uh, target environment so in that case uh, i can uh, type the command called uh, connections and it will uh, list down all the uh, connections that is actively running on this particular uh, target endpoint uh, so it will also gives your local ip and remote ip and the local port so if you are uh, aware about the netstat command uh, in the command line interface if you try to do the netstat uh, command in the target environment you will get the similar output so now uh, uh, like uh, uh, for example you want to uh, see what are the active service that is running on the environment uh, then uh, i can uh, type the command called uh, services so this services command will give you the list of services which is running on the target endpoint and this is the, the identical command uh, that you will do in your in uh, the actual endpoint is like uh, if you are you using the powershell you can use the get service command and that will list down all the list of uh, service which is running on the target endpoint a similar way here we can use the services command you can get the uh, the list of services running on this environment for example i mean for the, on the target machine for example if you see here the my wind different uh, windows defender antivirus service is running and the status is running status so like this you can also uh, list on for or uh, uh, doing some kind of uh, active investigation and you want to see what are the active process running on this particular endpoint so in that case you can run the command called uh, uh, processes so if you run this command it will list on all the running process uh, currently running on the target endpoint and it, it also gives you the uh, the process id and running status and user information as well so for example and if you want to uh, uh, deep dive into uh, some specific process in my case let's say i want to see uh, what this uh, ms edge.exe is doing i want to uh, see the more detail uh, about this particular process and what i can do is i can use the process command and i can just mention uh, the process id uh, for my microsoft i mean ms edge.exe in this case it is going to be 7180 so i'm going to type uh, my, my process id is 7180 and if i click enter it is going to give more details about that particular process so here you will be seeing like uh, uh, how <coughs> the more information about how this process is accessed and other, other stuffs for example uh, you have got the uh, more details about this particular process and you want to export this file in uh, to your local machine or you want to uh, generate i mean copy this file in a text format so that you can uh, or do the in investigation better so in that case what you can do is you can just use the same command but uh, to generate the output i'm going to use the uh, pipe symbol and i'm going to give uh, the test one dot txt so now what it is going to do is uh, it's going to uh, uh, get all the running process i mean uh, the details about the running process the uh, msh.exe and copy that uh, output into my text one dot uh, text file and it will uh, it will be available for the download so once i click enter uh, now uh, the my my process 7180 details has been generated 
and output has been uh, available for the downloads so if i click open file so you will get all the details about that particular process and you can uh, have this file for your further investigation so uh, like this uh, you can also for example during your uh, um, uh, investigation process it will be important to see uh, the registry of files uh, uh, it will especially for windows environment you might be want to see what is the registry uh, location looks like or the particular registry settings looks like so in that case for example i want to uh, see uh, some of my attack surface reduction rules that is running on uh, my target endpoint so in that case what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, uh, command uh, to get what are the uh, asr rules the attack surface reduction rules has been created in the target endpoint so in this case it gave me the output uh, this particular endpoint have a three uh, asr rules enabled and three rules are running in the block mode the value one uh, represents the, the asr rule running in the block mode and and also uh, or you can you can uh, use this uh, uh, live response console to uh, locate some kind of a file for example uh, let me uh, type my uh, directory command here so it will list down uh, all the uh, available files in that particular uh, directory so if you see here uh, there are multiple files are available in my uh, c directory and i'm 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 interested in uh, this particular file let's say example i have some uh, uh, .lic file here i want to uh, uh, find this file i know that this file is already uh, located in the c directory but i want to see uh, is there is there anywhere this file is located other than c directory yes so you can uh, type the command called uh, find and you just uh, uh, copy this file name here what you which file you are going to locate and uh, and I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, provide the uh, uh, the file name here and if i uh, press enter and it is going to uh, give me uh, uh, sorry uh, sorry it's a typo and the, the command actual command is uh, uh, find file and enter so uh, it is going to give me the uh, or the list of locations where this uh, file can be uh, found in the target endpoint uh, so in the specific case this particular file is not only available in the c drive but also we can find this file in uh, multiple locations so this is how we can uh, use the find file for example uh, if you, you, you may notice that I, I had a struggle in finding the command the find file so what you can do is you can use the command called uh, help and it will give you uh, the list of uh, command is available for your live response for example uh, this is the command i was trying to do uh, so maybe you can refer uh, if you are not sure about uh, what is the exact command that we need to use on the uh, console okay uh, let's say uh, let's go back to the file thing so now you found that file in multiple location and you want to uh, know more about that uh, file uh, for example you are you are thinking that this particular file file is a uh, a suspicious file and you want to investigate further on that file so in that case what you can do is uh, you can uh, use a file info command I'm going to type file info and uh, I'm just going to uh, put that file name information uh, but so for that I'm going to say I want to locate this file in the C drive and get want to get the information about that particular file so what is going to do is uh, it is going to give me the more information about this file and like example uh, the path of the file and uh, or the SHA values uh, it will be very useful for you for example if you are thinking that this particular file is a suspicious one and you want to block in the uh, tenant wide you just copy the SHA uh, and you can go to the, your indicator uh, policies uh, and you can create the uh, rule to block the uh, the entire file uh, and, and for example and you want to uh, uh, do it uh, the remediation you want to do uh, for that particular file inside uh, 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 the target machine in real time so in that case what you can use what, what, what command you can use is you can use the command called remediate so I'm going to use the command called remediate file and then I'm going to uh, uh, put that uh, file uh, path here so if i execute this command uh, what it, what is trying to do is try, it's trying to block the uh, file so if you got the notification see here uh, the windows security notification was uh, saying that application was removed because it is blocked so let me go into the uh, uh, target endpoint and see whether i could able to see that uh, file uh, here or not 
So if I go to my C drive right. and uh, I don't see uh, this file here, so where is my file? So if you go to the Windows uh, Security app and there you, you will be able to find this file under the uh, production history. So it is asking me to send the samples. No, I don't want to send at this moment. I'm going to my protection history and see uh, the details about the block which has happened on that uh, particular file, uh, which is uh, here. This is the file we have we were tried to uh, block uh, in the console. Okay, so now we have blocked the file, and you after the investigation you found out that uh, that's not a, a suspicious file. That's uh, just uh, some a genuine file, and it needs to be uh, allowed in the environment, or it needs to be uh, immediately uh, restored to its original location, uh, something like that. So in that case, what you can do is uh, the same thing uh, with the command that we have used, remediate file, is it? So instead of uh, remediate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command called undo. So if I do the undo, and what, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, restore my uh, file uh, uh, from the quarantine location. So this is how you can uh, do some uh, kind of investigation in your uh, live response. And also uh, re uh, regarding the uh, uh, creating a script and uploading in the uh, uh, library, that's something uh, we, let, uh, we have to uh, uh, do that. So let me go back to my uh, console here. And if you see here, uh, like uh, uh, there is an option for upload file to library. In my case, I have already created one uh, dummy script. I mean, uh, I mean, some kind of script that it will get the uh, all information about your uh, uh, get mp computer status and get mp preference output and it will append in one uh, output file so this is a simple uh, script i have created for this demo uh, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload the script in my uh, library uh, which is have uh, already done so if you if you go and locate the script and if you upload it and it will be available in your uh, library so once the script is available in the library now you can execute the uh, same script uh, uh, which is in the uh, library uh, for example uh, in my case uh, I'm going to run the command called run and uh, and I need the uh, uh, file name is it so it is going to be defender status or ts1 so so I'm going to execute the script uh, and it will it, it is intelligent enough to identify that uh, if you use this command run defender status dot ts1 it will identify this particular script uh, script I mean the partial script is already available in my library so it is going to uh, uh, execute this uh, uh, script now so I just press enter and uh, the script got uh, uh, executed if you can see the progress it will be get executed and the output will be saved in this particular location and and, and since in my command I have already uh, won my output file in a separate location uh, where I can copy it from myself so if you see here it is already uh, generated here and if I open this file and I can able to find my get mp computer status and get uh, mp preference command output in the uh, my output file so this is how you can uh, uh, run the script and uh, uh, get the status from the uh, uh, your uh, console so and also uh, here if you notice that there is an, a, a file called uh, command index I mean command index will give a list of a list of all the uh, commands that you have executed in this uh, target endpoint uh, this can be a good reference point in case if you want to see what are the commands that has been executed in, the, in this particular endpoint so after you're done with your investigations and then you can uh, if you want to uh, uh, disconnect the session the live response session in that case you can click on the disconnect session and this will uh, disconnect the live response session for that particular endpoint